Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Welcome to the overview for part two of this series on the spiritual master. Part two is simply titled The Spiritual Master. And even though this title is short, the volume of verses on this subject is astonishing, particularly when we consider that the innumerable scriptural quotes are consistent, respected, authoritative, clear and concise. And yet, for eons, millions of people have been and continue to be cheated by many so-called gurus. This is why it is paramount that we understand the science of the qualities of a spiritual master. It was a daunting task for me to reduce the number of chosen verses. But in the end, I compiled 18 subject headings with a total of 98 verses, some of which are long and some are short. So for part two, I will present the 18 subjects in 12 episodes. So this is not all going to happen in one go. Okay, make it easy for you. And I'm sure I've left out many wonderful and important verses. However, here is a list of the 18 subject headings with the number of verses in brackets. One, the definition of guru and acharya. Two, the spiritual master speaks what Krishna speaks. Three, the spiritual master is the representative of Krishna. Four, the spiritual master is in disciplic succession. Five, cheating gurus. Six, not by caste nor hereditary. Seven, Spiritual master is not an occupation. Eight, the spiritual master must be learned in Vedic literatures. Nine, the spiritual master must be a pure devotee. Ten, the spiritual master must be self-controlled. 11. I have a collection of topics here. 12. The spiritual master imparts knowledge. 13. The spiritual master trains the disciple. 14. The spiritual master is compassionate. 15. The spiritual master's writings are transcendental. 16. The spiritual master never claims to be God. 17. The Paramatma. And finally, 18. Titles of respect applicable to the spiritual master. So before we begin, I would like to just read something that Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur wrote about the qualities of a spiritual master. Without being empowered by the direct potency of Lord Krishna to fulfill his desire and without being specifically favoured by the Lord, no human being can become a spiritual master of the whole world. 
he certainly cannot succeed by mental concoction, which is not meant for devotees or religious people. Only an empowered personality can distribute the holy name of the Lord and enjoin all fallen souls to worship Krishna. By distributing the holy name of the Lord, he cleanses the hearts of the most fallen people. Therefore, he extinguishes the blazing fire of the material world. Not only that, he broadcasts the shining brightness of Krishna's effulgence throughout the world. Such an acharya or spiritual master should be considered non-different from Krishna. That is, he should be considered the incarnation of Lord Krishna's potency. Such a personality is always embraced by the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna. Such a person is above the considerations of the Varnashram institution. He is the guru or spiritual master for the entire world. A devotee on the topmost platform, the Mahabhagavat stage, and a Paramahamsa Thakur. A spiritual form only fit to be addressed as Paramahamsa or Thakur. That was in the Chaitanya Tritamrita Madhya 25.9. Namaste. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama.